I am Rajiv Kumar, Product Specialist Fruit Magic. And in this video, we will be covering mainly company level settings. So we have all together 20 different settings. And in this video, we will be covering each settings one by one. So let's go to our ERP and check the settings. OK. So these are our company level settings, which basically controls most of the things at uh, company level. Let's take uh, these settings one by one. So first says sales order required confirmation. Uh, mainly if you notice that uh, they are self-explanatory and also to help you, we have given the tooltip also, which ex basically explain what this settings is all about. So let's go. Uh, as I said, uh, sales order required confirmation means that whenever you are creating any new order in the system so will that automatically be approved or it will be in the pending state so let's say if i am creating an order here i will take these things quickly and i'm saving this order so you notice this order is in approved state okay if i go back to the settings and if i mark this thing saved and then if i'm going ahead and creating the same order okay so this is in the pending approval state so basically it's a like kind of a extra step uh, for businesses who are looking for uh, a layer where they can either edit, delete, or cancel order. Okay. Uh, definitely uh, with the uh, approved order, they can edit and cancel, but uh, with the pending approval, you, know, you can delete also that. Okay. So that's advantage here. And uh, same, I try to given the screenshot also. So here you can see that if sales order got confirmation, what can be the two potential uh, states? Okay, let's move to the second one. This is called uh, schedule sales order after days. Okay, and uh, we have one more setting which is kind of a dependent on the sales order cutoff time. So let's understand this and see right now the value is uh, three here so let's say i am uh, adding one order quickly and you say the date is 15th and current date is uh, 12th and this is because the so system is uh, automatically taking date according to that setting okay but uh, definitely if needed you can change the date accordingly just to speed up the things okay so the settings ignore this okay okay so the third setting is sales order cutoff time so you can see that uh, any order which is coming before this time will be considered as a today's order or any order coming after this time will consider as tomorrow's order and it's work in congestion with uh, the settings okay so we can understand this with the example let's say i am giving uh, time 4 pm okay so and i have make sure that uh, this value i'm giving as a one and i'm saving this so let's say any order is coming before uh, 4 pm that will be scheduled for tomorrow and any order which is coming post 4 pm this will be considered as day after tomorrow because the setting is one here i hope uh, this is clear and uh, in our uh, PPT also I try to explain the same so here you can see uh, these two settings work together and this is the current date this is the date and it's, I have mentioned there, the time after which the sales address created is going to the next day and they work in condition with this okay let's uh, go to the ta -ta 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 -ta. yeah let's go to another one skip pre-invoice and ready state of invoice 
Okay, uh, if this is enabled, uh, system will skip the pre-invoice uh, status of invoices and it will be directly marked invoiced. And if this is on, uh, this is off, the setting is off, then the invoices will be first in the pre-invoice state. Okay, so let me save this and uh, let me show you the server presentation. So, if this is skipped, it will direct any uh, new invoice will be directly in the invoice state or it will be in the invoice state. So basically it's just one extra step again to make sure that you know everything is uh, pretty good with that invoice. If you want to make some changes or something before that, you can do in a pre-invoice state. Okay. Let's go back to our other settings. Okay, this one says auto approved forward order. So uh, this is similar to our sales order required confirmation and our uh, forward order actually taken by our drivers. So let me show you. At this screen, uh, you can see this is our application forward screen where driver, uh, you know, normally take forward order. So if driver is taking any forward order, okay you really want them that you know this order should get approved automatically or you know you want to wait someone to again review and market uh, approved so this depend upon your uh, business requirement okay now enable duplication of load order so let me show you some load order first Okay, just assume this is uh, one of the load order I'm talking about and you can see this one button where I can easily duplicate a load order and if needed, I can make some changes also. It's basically saving my time if I have to just replicate this data. Okay, and uh, any and the result of that duplication will be in a manual load order. Let me go back to the settings and uh, show you this if I'm unchecking it. Okay, now I can go back and if and now I try to do, I will not find that button. So this is pretty easy. Now let's go through again. Yep. Incoming inventory required confirmation or not. So this is pretty simple and straightforward. If uh, you are receiving any inventory and uh, you really want that, uh, it should be in the pending state or you want directly, it's, it can go to the approved state. So let's check right away. I'm just setting a couple of uh, item here. Okay, and I mark it save. Okay, so it's in the pending state right now. So uh, because uh, that setting is enabled. Pending at this stage, I can you now go edit, delete and approve. So if there's no change required or uh, this is still a valid uh, entry, I need not to delete I can go ahead and you know approve it okay and uh, same thing is gonna happen if uh, I will disable that so let's see marking save it will be directly received it is pretty straightforward Okay, uh, we were on uh, this one. Okay, schedule forward order after days. So this settings again controlling same like uh, sales order, but it's for the forward order. Let me show you screen. So in this screen uh, for driver, this date will come automatically as per the date we are deciding uh, about the settings. Like, you know, if I say after two days, it will automatically two days, it's a one day or anything. So this uh, is pretty simple. Okay, uh, this is about uh, pick list. So for pick list also, uh, it's the same thing. Okay, like forward order that uh, at a time that when driver is adding pick list, the state will auto generate it as per the settings. Okay, again, uh, in the both the cases, not only in forward order in pick list also, a driver can still change the state. It's just to make the thing uh, pretty fast or easy okay this uh, we have to see 
send email on vehicle inspection failure so basically when driver is performing any you know vehicle inspection and uh, any and that inspection is failing so uh, the person will who is basically uh, having this email id will receive a email so at a company level uh, you have to make sure that you know this email id is used multiple places in this case uh, any vehicle inspection failed you will receive email id uh, you will receive email on this email id okay now uh, send email when invoices is created so again it's same thing if uh, you are checking you will get an email if you are not uh, checking this checkbox against these uh, email settings you will not receive so it's just uh, a way to like you know uh, make sure you, are, you want email or not. So in this case, uh, in uh, any invoices are getting created, the customer is getting email for that or not. So that I let me show you uh, which email are we talking about. So let's go to any customer. Okay, just take one example here. Okay, and. Uh, uh, this is the email, right? Uh, okay. Now, uh, email proof of the delivery. So it's again the same thing. Uh, uh, if uh, once the delivery is done, if you really want that, you know, customer should uh, receive a POD, you can, you know, activate that also from here okay here we go so this is about our pack enabled this we discussed when we were talking about the pack order video so let me show you again if this setting is enabled i'm doing this enabled right now for you and marking save and uh, i'm creating any sales order let's say i have created this one and i am trying to pick this order let me go to the pick screen so you notice this skip pack is by default selected this checkbox Okay, and why that is happening? Because we uh, that setting is controlling this checkbox here. If uh, I will go and uh, mark this setting as unchecked and save, and if I again go to uh, this pick order and try to pick this, this will be uh, you know automatically unchecked. So it's again uh, still you have a control of uh, this checkbox. But it just uh, to make the things easy for you, if you really want to skip pack order, okay. And accordingly, at uh, this stage, confirm this. If we're skipping, the pack order will be automatically in the pack state. And we know that, right? Uh, how this setting works. Okay. Okay. Skip draft state of payment. So it is pretty simple and. Uh, straightforward if I'm saving this and if I'm going ahead and uh, having some payments it will be already in a draft state okay and uh, let's see this our own maybe just quickly I had some payment so this is uh, by default uh, it's getting approved and rest uh, but in draft state because I just changed the setting for you. So if you want that uh, the draft state in between to make sure uh, uh, want to review payments before it getting approved, you can do that uh, from here. So it will be approved. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's uh, jump to another one. This is uh, enable pick pack and uh, load button on route planner. So right now, uh, for all the businesses basically uh, who are just taking order and just quickly delivering that the way they have, and they don't want to go in the process of entire pick pack and load, they can use this uh, feature. So if this is unchecked, which right now I'm doing and uh, saving, we can go to the route planner. And we can say that, okay, let's see. 
so there's no button here which where you can you know actually easily uh, do the pick pack and load but if I can go ahead and uh, enable this you will find there is a button in root planner okay now this is the button pick pack on now so you can just say and your order will get uh, pick pack and load directly with the click of this button okay now to the another settings okay enable lock and unlock uh, ability so if you go to root planner you will find there's a lock here okay so uh, if you think that you know your planner need this facility that whenever they are done with the entire planning and they want to lock the route they can use that and after that no more changes uh, you know possible in this other way other you cannot uh, you know make some changes but definitely they can unlock also if needed but if you want that altogether this functionality should not be here you can go back and uh, uncheck this so this will not come okay uh, okay so this one enable the ability to create a customer in sales order is for uh, those businesses who are basically uh, dealing with um, uh, new customer every day and they don't uh, have uh, their details prior in their system so uh, conventionally adding a customer requires lots of detail to be added in the system but with this setting on you can directly go to sales order okay and uh, when your sales order it is giving you option to create a customer here so you can on your order so because that setting is on you can see there's a button called create customer so this you can use quickly and just add some information about customer okay and you can give some right now i'm giving some random email id but you can give your customer email id here and uh, just add what all is mandatory okay and select the route so this is the quickest way to add a customer okay and uh, you can start you know taking this order easily so it's just a few click away and you save this okay but the advantage you will see that this customer which you are creating right now like uh, just take a test customer one this will be automatically saved in your uh, database of customers so you can search here oh the many okay so this one we just uh, you know uh, created so this is pretty easy like uh, you know to add uh, a customer quickly here but uh, when this setting is off you will not see that button okay let me show this save and now if i go to sales order try to add that button is not visible here so you can control that uh, okay now uh, okay this one is uh, uh, take example like uh, you don't have any uh, particular product in inventory like you know the stock is zero and uh, driver is uh, on his way and uh, he is looking forward to take order in which that product is part of that order but uh, currently when the setting is off he will not see that particular product because uh, for any product when the inventory in zero right so that will not be part of uh, sales order like you know the list which uh, which uh, you know driver is using but if that is enabled even if the quantity in hand for that particular product is zero that will be still available for uh, driver while taking a forward order okay so yeah in, in cases like you know he must be aware uh, that you know in two days this is gonna come so i'm taking this order because 
uh, at the time of our delivery, we will have this inventory. So you don't want to lose that business. Okay, let's go back to our settings. Now, enable price adjusting. So if this is enabled at a time of uh, taking a sales order, you can basically adjust the price. Let me show you. So if you are taking a sales order and uh, you know system is basically giving you the prices, the unit price and everything. So with that, with that setting disabled, you cannot change these prices here. But when the setting is enabled, you can even ch uh, change the prices at this level itself when you are taking an order. So that is the importance of that settings. Now come to the final one. Okay, enable geocoding. Let me show you uh, what that means. Okay, so this we have to discuss in detail. Okay, enable geocoding. So first of all, this setting will be disabled. By default, you have to go to settings and make it enabled uh, to work for you. As is mentioned that uh, geocode is a circle with one kilometer around the delivery point. So basically, uh, what is happening when this setting is on, as soon as driver is reaching in circle of uh, one kilometer for the delivery point, a customer will receive an email, okay? that uh, like something like you know he is about to deliver this packet to you and all and only those customer for whom we have a, a van sales or wholesale delivery plan and that is still in pending state okay and as you can see the email address which uh, we are taking at a time of adding a customer in the delivery point contact info that email id will receive this and there's a default way like you know the driver may be uh, xyz person from uh, abc company is uh, very near to your delivery point and should be arriving soon so it's a very uh, you know uh, predefined template which uh, customer will receive and in case uh, customer is not provided us uh, the email id then and the setting is uh, disabled then definitely nothing will happen and uh, one more thing here, which is important, let's say in our same uh, vicinity or maybe in that uh, geocode circle, we have multiple customers. So uh, everyone will receive the email accordingly. Uh, it doesn't matter like, you know, you're serving someone uh, after first customer or third customer, but it depends upon if they are in that circle, they all will receive the email. Okay, so this was about uh, enabling geocode. So with the geocoding, I think uh, we are good with the settings part. Thank you very much for watching this video.